Hey YouTube, Al here, and this week we're going to take a look at the Cinder's Overdrive from TC Electronic. So I bought this before Christmas in the Black Friday sale, shows how long I've had it. Um, it's taken me a long time to get around to the review and to even plug it in, which I still haven't actually done, it being February now. Um, I just had so much other stuff to do, videos, you know, you know what it's like over this period. So I bought this in the Black Friday sale quite a while ago now, and it was 29 quid. Let's see if it's any good. Um, it's another green overdrive. But it's not a tube screamer. It's not. No. TC market this as a transparent overdrive. I.e. the tube screamer has a mid hump so it pushes the mid frequencies more and it cuts the bass off a bit. And that's its thing. Then it adds the gain. This is meant to be more of a... Uh, a pure thing where it lets the guitar signal go through and it adds its game but it doesn't really apart from the tone control you know it doesn't really inherently push any frequency via just the voicing of the, the thing um obviously it's going to sound different from other overdrives because different components and designs etc etc but it's meant to be transparent despite it being green so it's not a tube screamer which is quite surprising for a green overdrive now this is apparently, uh, according to Tor on YouTube, uh, you know, Tor works for TC, he says it's basically a Behringer pedal, or Behringer, how we want to say it, and they took a load of uh, these designs when they took over the company and they kind of reworked them a little bit, just tweaked them slightly and put them in nicer boxes, and we end up with a load of pedals like this. Now, I'm not quite sure what pedal this started out as, as Behringer, but it's probably going to be a new thing now because... I'm sure that changing even a small thing is, is going to make quite a big difference to the sound of the pedal. So I'm excited to see how this sounds. It's in a quite a nice hard wearing box, although it's a very big box. Um, if I just if I just grab my OD1, because everyone knows how big a boss pedal is, if I put them side by side, it's a very big box. It, it's a surprisingly big box. I thought it'd be about the same as a boss. But um, yeah, no, they've really... It's built like a bloody tank. I mean, it's not particularly... Well, it's quite heavy, actually, fair. It's a little bit heavier than the OD1. Uh, SD1. But, but Christ, it's, it's a big box, which is a bit annoying. And the bloody jacks are on the top, which is going to annoy the hell out of me when I try and put it on my pedal board. Um, very much limiting the space, because the type of jacks and, you know, how much wire you've got left and... It's going to be a bit of a blag to fit on my board, but there you go. Uh, TC switch, which doesn't click, which I quite like. I really like the quality of these switches. They feel very, very positive. I have nothing more to say about this, except for that it says it's 9 volt DC, which most pedals are. Uh, tone, volume, drive. Again, it really makes me think of a tube screamer, but it's not, and you kind of have to get that out of your brain when you try this just think of it as a random overdrive pedal ignore the greenness which we've all been let's be honest conditioned to think is a tube screamer because there are so many green overdrives that are trying to be that let's plug it in and see how it sounds okay so the guitar i'm using is my epiphone les paul it's been heavily modified uh, it's got a real maple cap nice korean one amp i'm using is a custom double barrel it's a 2x12 solid state combo kind of Fendery voice thing, it's one of them. So let's start with everything at noon because that's probably the best way to go about it. Starting the bridge pickup, clean. <laughs>
funky nasal. <laughs> Darker, so that turns about. Let's put it at eleven o'clock. Keep on the bridge. Brighter. Turn the gain down. Let's put the gain a quarter way up. Let's leave the tone at 12. Okay, so. Ooh. Gotta project playing G all the time. Split the um, split the neck pick up. Okay, here we go. It's my uh, attempt. Hum 
humbucker? Oh, that was humbucker. Split. <laughs> That's the drive quite low, that's like... What is that, it's like 10 o'clock? So, drop to 12. Volume down a little bit, let's hope this matches, this is clean. about two o'clock now and drives about 11-ish. There's a lot of crispy top end. So back to twelve o'clock again. Everything's at twelve again. Start going the other way. Let's put the tone at about two o'clock. <laughs>
number because it's really hard to get the right amount of gain out of them. So it's about one, one o'clock now the drive, just moved up a little bit. So. <laughs> to me with um with that crispy top end it doesn't feel like it quite works with humbuckers it feels quite scooped that's the word for it it's a little bit scooped which works great for some stuff but probably not for others <laughs> I'm not really, I'm not really putting it over halfway because it feels so brittle. We 
think it might sloppy playing. I'm trying out these massive tri-cornered Gibson picks and I'm not really a fan, to be honest, because they're so big, too much of the pick is sticking out from my thumb, so it keeps getting caught under the string. But I like to try something new, so I'm giving them a go. maximum drive and do you know what let's leave the drive where it was actually and tone all the way up so Silly bollocks o'clock. Seven, sorry, about five o'clock, so almost at ten, almost right. Come on, what am I doing?
put everything back at 12 because I think that's probably where everything sounded pretty much the best. <laughs> scooped so in my opinion the best way to get kind of an even sound you can tweak from is to have the tone relatively low at least with humbuckers and then you can have the drive a bit higher and it doesn't sound too Stevie Ray Vaughan-ish if you know what I mean like clean compressed but really clean really clean so the drive for me kicks in about two o'clock so I'm leaving it about one or two o'clock somewhere between there and the tone's got to be about a quarter of the way up. A bit more. Uh, sleepy picks.
repeat, too jangly. <laughs> settings that feel to me the most kind of natural and versatile between humbuckers and single coils. <laughs> And it's the tone is roughly 10, 11 o'clock, and yeah, the gain is about. It's about two o'clock. So that's a look at the TC Electronic Cinders Overdrive. Now it's meant to be a transparent overdrive but it is a bit scooped in my opinion. Uh, it feels like there's a lot of low end thump and some nice chimey high end and it feels like the mids are just slightly missing or pulled, pulled back or something. So that being said, that, that kind of leeches into everything the pedal does. Uh, like it or lump it, that's the character of this pedal. If you don't want something that's a bit scooped, do not buy this pedal. Uh, if you do want something that's a bit scooped, then this might be the boy for you. I find that about there, two o'clock, is where I was most comfortable with the amount of gain. It's kind of a light overdrive, anything before 12 o'clock, it doesn't really add that much gain. It kind of is a bit more like a clean boost. You've really got to balance the drive with the tone control to sort of get the, the EQ right. Again, because it's slightly scooped, you've really got to tweak it a bit just to find, find the, uh, the biting point, as I call it, the point where it feels... It feels nice and natural doing full full cowboy chords and full open chords and power chords. But when you go to the high notes, there's still a little bit, there's enough gain there to sort of pull it off. I feel like sometimes it would really bloom as a nice light overdrive for rhythm uh, and really enjoy that sound. But then I go for a single note and it will feel a bit too clean and a bit, just a bit empty. So that being said, you've really got to, tweak this and kind of get it in the right ballpark but yeah with it being slightly scooped it, it definitely is his own thing compared to other transparent overdrives so i quite like this i do think it's worth the 29 quid it's definitely its own thing i do not think i've got another tc electronic overdrive the mojo mojo that's a transparent overdrive and i was thinking well if they're both transparent overdrives and they're both tc how similar are they well, they're not similar at all. I really don't think they are. For one thing, the Mojo Mojo has bass controls and treble controls, and this just has a tone, but 
the scoopness of this really does set it aside from my other overdrive pedals i think it does feel like a light overdrive even when you turn up the gain and it gets really big and really thumping um it doesn't do the mastodon thing it doesn't do the metal thing for me because there's so much low end and it's a little bit scooped not metal scoop like dime bag not like a distortion hard clipping just slightly just big just big and yet yet toppy but no i, I don't think it's a, a metal thing i do think it's more of a a rock maybe classic rock maybe even country bit of blues that sort of thing i can see it's working really well with something with p90s actually because you'll get a bit of girth from the p90ness but you still get the clarity of the single core it's kind of like the p90 of the pedal world think of it that way that's the best way probably to think of it so that, enough of my yakking you've heard me play through it a bit and mess about with it the first time i plugged it in let me know what you think in the comments Thank you very much for watching. My name is Al, and I'll see you next time. Bye.